What's up, guys? It's your boy. Um, before I get on to doing the racing here in a few hours, I wanted to do something very special. Um, as you guys know, Back in twenty, back in twenty sixteen, I lost my brother to lung cancer on February third. January twenty third was his birthday. So, I wanted to do this show to not only honor my brother. But to honor everyone that has ever lost someone to anything, whether it be cancer or, you know, whatever that thing may be, this is going out to everyone that's ever lost anyone. But this first song, I'm dedicating to him. And I don't give a fuck. I'm enduring it for him. Could you say to that to the young? Go from there and throw that gun. For Uncle Sam and our freedom. I'm a man dressed in black. They folded up and flat. And the little bad is starting to break me. Yeah, baby, and I have 21 guns raising. And that's one hell of a baby. That's the only way to go. Fighting the good life. To the good Lord, cause you always saw me. To see you again, you see what I just can't find. It's a hell of a nightmare. That's a city ain't got long. He just smiles and bring it on. If you think I'm scared, you got me all wrong. Oh, little hands that can't bring me, my heart's driving out of me. We all hit our knees and start to dream. Oh, yeah, we gave up, said the good Lord was waiting.
From stylish storage solutions to functional home decor, Hobby Lobby has every... And yeah, I know I'm not supposed to, but you know what? You know what, dude? You can go fuck yourself. This is a fucking memorial slash tribute show. You're kind of welcome here, bitch. This song is going to anybody that's ever lost anyone. And if you have lost somebody, I want you to put their names in the comments as I'm doing this song. Listen everyone, the time will come when all of us say goodbye. Feel that aching in your heart, leaving you broken inside. But we're never really gone, as long as there's a memory in your mind. So we're now going to do the best things in life. Say goodbye to this world while you can. Bring the dust of the rest of your life. Make a run out of this world while you can. Take the ones you love and hold them close because there is little time. And don't let it break your heart Know it feels so less sometimes But they're never really gone As long as there's a memory in your mind So now come to the best things in life Take a bite of this world while you can Oh, 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 oh,
And I hope this song right here that I'm about to do is uplifting for you guys. start this one. I would like to dedicate this song right here. Not only to my ex-girlfriend Lexi I lost last year, but to anyone that's lost anyone that's very, very close to them. To anyone that's lost a girlfriend, boyfriend, grandparent, whatever. This song is for you guys. Hey, Lucy, I remember your name. I left a cause and roses on your grave today. I'm in the grass on my knees, wipe the leaves away. Just came to talk for a while Got some things I need to say Now that it's over I just wanna hold her I give up all the world to see That little piece of heaven looking back at me Now that it's over I just wanna hold her Gotta live with the choices I made And I can't live with myself today Hey Lucy, I remembered your birthday You said it brings some closure Did you say your name? I know I'd do it all different if I had the chance all I got are these roses to give And they can't help me make a mess Now that it's over I just wanna hold her I give up all the love you see The little piece of heaven looking back at me Now that it's over I just wanna hold her I gotta love with the choices I made Tell you right now, 
I'm not worried about any fucking thing except paying tribute and respect to those that we lost. And I know that motherfucker's a fake. I know who that is, Marty. I'm not stupid. I'm here trying to do a show to pay tribute to people like my brother who lost their fucking lives. I don't have time for that shit. I'm here to do the right thing and pay homage and tribute to those that we lost. And if you're going to sit there and talk about the fucking book, then get the fuck out. This isn't about that. It's about paying homage and tribute to those that came before us, fighting the good fight, that died fighting the good fight, that gave everything. You know what, hold up. I'm telling you all motherfuckers right the fuck now to shut the fuck up. Every last one of you needs to shut the fuck up. Because I'm here trying to do a fucking tribute show to motherfuckers that came before us. And if anybody doesn't want to fucking listen, then get the fuck out now. I'm here to pay tribute to those that came before us. And if you don't like it, then fuck off and get the fuck out. Because it ain't about some stupid ass book. Alright? It's about paying homage to those that came before us. It ain't about what y'all want it to be about. I'm here to do the right fucking thing and pay tribute to those that fought the good fight and died. And if you don't like it, then fuck you and fuck that goddamn book. It ain't about that right now. So if you ain't gonna show respect, then get out right now and leave the stream and go somewhere else. 
I'm here to pay tribute to those that came before us, nigga. I'm here to pay respect to those that not only I lost, but pay respects to those that y'all lost that came before you. And if you don't like that, then get the fuck out now. Because let me tell you right now, motherfuckers, if it wasn't for people like my brother inspiring me to do what I do, I wouldn't be doing the shit that I do. And if you can't handle that, and all you want to talk about is that fucking dumbass book, which I'm letting that bitch ass nigga get away with, then get the fuck out. Because let me tell you right now, motherfucker, I did write that book. The motherfucker is an old ass enemy from high school. And I ain't fucking worried about that, bitch. I ain't worried about getting payback on some fucking book that I did a hundred times better work on than he ever could have. The mother, y'all want to know the fucking truth? The motherfucker was an enemy of mine in high school. I, the little bitch ass was an enemy of mine in high school who was jealous of me and what I had going for me. And what happened? The little fuck boy decided to go behind my back, steal the goddamn book before I could even do anything. And guess what? He got profit from it. I was only able to release it to family and friends because of him. And that ain't my fault. So you know what? If all you guys are going to talk about is the fucking book, then I'm going to end the goddamn stream right the fuck now. And I will delete my fucking channel. Because I'm fucking tired of motherfuckers doing this kind of shit. Attacking me for shit that I didn't do. I'm fucking tired of it. If all y'all are going to talk about is that fucking bullshit book, then I'm deleting my goddamn channel. Now, y'all can either shut the fuck up right now and pay your fucking respects. Or this channel is going to go. And you ain't ever going to see me again. So what's it going to be? Are you going to shut the fuck up and pay your goddamn respects and show respect to those that came before you and those that you lost? Or do you guys get to say bye-bye to the channel? I'm fucking done with it. Now either shut the fuck up and enjoy the show or get the fuck out and say goodbye to this channel for good. Plain and simple. Take your fucking pick. that song instead of talking about some book that I did in the past why are we talking about the book that I'm releasing next week and self publishing next week why aren't we talking about that why aren't we talking about my album that I'm dropping next month why aren't we talking about that leave the past in the motherfucking past that book old news what I'm doing now that brand new photo book that I'm dropping next week. The album that I'm dropping next month. That's new news. That's what's happening now.
I'm telling y'all right now, man. Y'all are fucking pushing me. Y'all are fucking pushing it, man. Like I said, mention that book one more motherfucking time. One more time. Watch what happens. One more time. And this channel's gone. One more time. One more motherfucking time. Watch what happens. Like I said, fuck the past. Fuck that book that I wrote. Because you want to know something? I'm creating way better shit than what I did back then. I got way better shit coming out. Way better. Like I said, y'all keep mentioning that book. I'm leaving the community behind for good like I should have done a long fucking time ago. A long fucking time ago I should have left. That's not true, Classic. I have respect for books. But I'm not going to sit there and dwell on the past either. If there's one thing I've learned in life, people are going to fuck you over. People are going to do shit that you can't do anything about. And you can choose to do two things about it. You can either sit there and let it bring you down and let it take over you. And let it eat at you day in and day out, day after day after day after day. Or you could choose to rise above it and not let it affect you. Me, I don't let my past affect me. The past is the past. That book that I wrote is in the past. It may be new for you guys, but for me, it's in the past. The past don't mean shit. What matters right now is the here and the now and what I'm doing now. That's what matters is the here and the now. Not something I wrote when I was fucking 16. What matters now is the future. See, while a lot of y'all motherfuckers are living in the past and saying, oh, well, he did this, he did that. Oh, this book is his, blah, 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 blah. No, fuck that. Fuck that. You want to know why? Because I know that motherfucker that was up in here is fake as fuck. I know that was a goddamn troll. Just by the way they were talking, you could tell sure. See, while I'm working towards a better future for myself and my family, the fuckers are living in the past. And you know what I say about the past. Leave the past in the past.
Hey, emo brother, go fuck yourself, faggot. I'm in the future. Make all the claims you want. I'm not living in the past. I'm living in the here, in the now, in the future. And you want to know why? Because 2021 is my year. And I ain't going to let some punk ass motherfuckers come up in here and fuck with it. I'm not going to let some punk ass motherfuckers that want to troll and start rumors ruin it. Hey mods, do your fucking job and get these guys up out of here. Guys like this motherfucker down here, this Justin guy, do your job and get rid of him. You know what? I'll get rid of him my damn self. Like I said, I'm living in the fucking future. I'm living in the here and the now. I am living in the present. I am living in the future. Fuck the past. I ain't worried about no goddamn past. I'm worried about my future and what I'm doing in the future. A week from now, a month from now. That's what I'm worried about. So fuck the past. Fuck that book. I'm living in the here and the now. Because I'm about the future, baby. I'm about what I'm doing with my life right now. And if you can't handle that, then fuck you. I'm living in the here and the now, motherfuckers. I'm worried about my book dropping next week. I'm worried about the world's first ever 3D photography book dropping next week. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about a month from now when my debut album, Shadowborn, drops for all y'all to enjoy. That's what I worry about. So like I said, fuck that Soul Simpsons book. That's when I was a kid. I've written a lot better stuff since then. Ask anybody that has actually read some of the shit that I've done recently. I've done way better shit since then. That book, childish shit. What I'm doing now is a hundred times better. So focus on that instead of the past. If you're sick of being attacked by the past, put sick of it right now. Everything you do doesn't matter. Do the time of this, no use, your world is getting blacker. With every time you fail, has no answer. Every empty promise made is a reminder. No one can make this better. Take control this now. You know what? I'm done, y'all. I'm out of here. I'm done with this shit. So y'all motherfuckers can kiss my channel goodbye. I'm done with being attacked by these fucking fags. Peace, y'all. I'm out this bitch for good. See ya. Because I ain't going to stick around and be attacked by a little pansy ass bitch. So y'all can thank these fucking trolls here for that shit. See y'all fuckers never.